Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna take a look at all the awesome releases, all the cool manga that's coming out in 2024. Now I don't have the full list, but I got 30 books that I think will be highly anticipated by all. Let's do it. The first book that we're gonna talk about is a much requested release and it came from the folks of Kodansha. We have the Fable Omnibus. This is a two-in-one volume with art and story by Katsuhisa Minami. The man called the Fable is a self-proclaimed genius at killing. The mention of his codename strikes fear into the hearts of every Yakuza in Japan. His talent has brought him everything he could want, money, respect, purpose. But this is no legend, he's just a man, a rather irritating man who loves stupid jokes and bad television. After a bloody period of gang enforcement in Tokyo, the Fable's boss advises him to lie low and enjoy his earnings for a while. So begins the Fable's toughest mission yet, a full year living a normal life, at the other end of the bullet train in Osaka. It's a mission he takes on with his usual professionalism and rigor, but can the Osaka mob let this legend rest, or will they be unable to resist pulling him back into the underworld? Gogo -Go Monster is finally coming back from the legendary Taiyo Matsumoto and shout out to Viz for making it happen. This has been a much requested reprint and here we are just a couple months away from the release of Gogo -Go Monster, the second edition. If you don't know what this is about, it stars a third grade kid called Yuki Tachibana who lives in two worlds. In one, he is a loner ridiculed by his classmates and reprimanded by his teachers for telling stories of supernatural beings that only he can see. In the other, those supernatural beings vie for power with malevolent spirits who bring chaos into the school, the students' lives, and nature itself. From Dark Horse Comics, we got the release of Trigun, the Lux Edition. This collects volumes 1 and 2 of the series in a beautiful hardcover, featuring a faux leather cover of Yasuhiro Naito's signature creation, collected for the first time in this original oversized format. Hirayasumi Volume 1 was finally announced. This is by Keigo Shinzo. At 29 years old, carefree Hiroto Ikuta doesn't have a girlfriend, a full-time job, or a plan for the future, and he couldn't be happier. Hiroto's breezy attitude isn't easy for everyone to understand, though. In a world filled with anxiety, confusion, and grief, Hiroto and the people who surround him are all just doing their best to figure out this thing called life. After developing an unlikely friendship with a grouchy old granny who lives in his neighborhood, Hiroto suddenly finds himself inheriting not just her house, but some rather difficult emotions as well. His 18-year-old cousin, Natsumi, moves in with him, but as a struggling art student, she has her own troubles to deal with and may just put Hiroto's easygoing lifestyle to the test. Viz Media is putting out Goku Rakugai Volume 1. This is written by Yuto Sano. For the right price, these professional troubleshooters can solve any problem. Whether they're taking out the scum of the earth or destroying human eating monsters, the troubleshooters of Goku Rakugai are open for business. In a rundown town without law and order, Tao and Alma accept work from clientele of all creeds and cultures, and they're always ready to dole out justice against human hungry monsters that lurk in the shadows. Visually, this is one of my most hyped releases of the year, so I'm highly anticipating the release of Goku Rakugai Volume 1. Definitely be on the lookout for that one. This next shoujo release surprised many and confused some. It is the omnibus edition of A Sign of Affection from Su Morishita. And I say confused because it is a relatively new series and the individual volumes were still coming out as of the announcement of the omnibus edition. But here we are with a three in one release. Volume one drops in a couple months. This is from Kodansha and it stars the character of Yuki, who's always Always been deaf. She's used to communicating with sign language and her phone, but she's not used to English. So when a tourist from overseas asks for directions, she nearly panics until a handsome stranger steps in to help. His name is Itsuomi, and it turns out he's a friend of a friend, a charismatic globetrotter. Itsuomi speaks three languages, but he's never had a deaf friend. The two feel drawn to each other and plan a date on a romantic winter's night, but Yuki's friend is afraid that she might be setting herself up to get hurt. Could this be something real, or will these feelings melt away with the snow? 
Another big profile Kodansha release, we have Vinland Saga, the deluxe edition hardcover. Now keep in mind, this was already supposed to come out in December of 2023, but it got pushed back all the way to February of 2024. This hardcover edition contains volumes one, two, and three of the acclaimed action epic at a bigger size than ever before. Wrapped in a red leather pattern cover with logo stamping, this new edition features all the content of the original release, plus new and exclusive bonus illustrations, interviews, and behind the scenes details never before translated. Snowball Earth Volume 1 from Yuhiro Sujitsugu. This is being put out by Viz Media and it tells of the year 2025 where huge beasts from beyond the galaxy have attacked Earth. In the war that followed, humanity fought back with a giant robot named Yukio, piloted by Tetsuo Yabusame, a boy barely old enough to go to school. Ten years later, the massive alien swarm closed in on humanity's homeworld and Tetsuo and Earth Defense Force deployed for the final battle with the invading horde. They lost. Yukio was destroyed in battle, and Tetsuo survived in an escape pod. After eight years in cold sleep, the escape pod finally lands back on Earth, and Tetsuo awakens determined to fulfill his promise to his comrades in arms that he would live his life to the fullest and make many friends. But what he finds instead is a world in ruins, entirely frozen beneath a blanket of ice and snow. A snowball Earth. Another omnibus release, this time from Kodansha, we have The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. This is a three-in-one volume featuring the story by Fuse with illustrations by Taiki Kawakami. Mikami's middle age hasn't gone as he's planned, he never found a girlfriend. He got stuck in a dead-end job and he has abruptly been stabbed to death in the street at 37. So when he wakes up in a new world straight out of a fantasy RPG, he's disappointed, but not exactly surprised to find that he's facing down a dragon, not as a knight or a wizard, but as a blind slime monster. But there are chances for even a slime to become a hero, and maybe even build a country where the rejects and outcasts can find a place to belong. I usually shy away from giving my full thoughts on these titles here because I'm just recommending stuff, but I have to put a parenthesis. This is one of my all-time favorite isekai, amazing world building, and great characters. I have this series, but I highly recommend you check out that time I got re incarnated as a slime. Drifters from Kota Hirano, the creator of Helsing, is finally getting an omnibus release. The series has long been out of print and pretty hard to find, but here we have the first three volumes of the series collected in one omnibus volume. Warriors and warlords from Earth's history, or drifters, are transported to an alien world and employed to help the non-human races defend themselves in a worldwide civil war with legions of monsters led by the malefic Black King threatening the annihilation of both human and non-human races. Drifters is a howling tornado of all-out action and staggering imagination. If you're a fan of Helsing, you'll be right at home with Drifters. Viz is putting out Haikyuu in a 3-in-1 omnibus edition, this first volume collecting volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the famous sports drama by Haruichi Furudate. Ever since he saw the legendary player known as the Little Giant compete at the National Volleyball Finals, Shoujo Hinata has been aiming to be the best volley player ever. Who says you need to be tall to play volleyball when you can jump higher than anyone else? After losing his first and last volleyball match against Tobio Kagayama, the king of the court, Shoujo Hinata swears to become his rival after graduating middle school, but the guy he wants to defeat ends up becoming his teammate at Karasuno High School. The two will have to prove themselves capable of playing together if they want to have a future playing volleyball. Another much requested title from a lot of new readers is Fool Knight. This is by Kazumi Yasuda. Volume 1 is coming out soon and it is about a distant future where Earth is covered in thick clouds and the sun no longer shines. Plants wither and oxygen is thin. To fight extinction, humankind has developed a technology that turns humans into plants, providing a small amount of oxygen. Is this process sustainable? Is it ethical? Toshiro Kamiya must consider these questions as he's faced with a difficult choice. Save his family or save himself. 
Kodansha is also bringing us the omnibus release of the much anticipated Initial D reprint. This is a two in one large sized edition with a refreshed translation featuring story and art by Shuichi Shigeno. Takumi Fujiwara spends a lot of time behind the wheel. His tofu delivery job sends him racing down the treacherous roads of Mount Akina. And without even realizing it, Takumi has mastered racing techniques that take most drivers a lifetime to learn. Of course, none of his friends realize this. They are all too busy watching the Akina speed stars, the local street racing team. When the legendary Red Suns show up to challenge the speed stars, the rival team obsesses over a phantom car, the Trueno 86, seen racing through the mountain roads. Who is the driver, and will they take on this dangerous challenge? Medalist Volume 1, Story and Art by Surumaikada. This is being published by Kodansha, and it stars the character of Inori, a little girl who dreams of becoming a figure skater, yet the obstacles to this dream feel insurmountable. Inori is already too old. She's 11. She's always had trouble at school, and worst of all, her older sister's skating dreams ended in failure. So her mother is dead set against putting her other daughter through a similar experience. Still, the rink is the only place Inori can be herself, and she's out on the ice when a fateful meeting takes place. Tsukasa, a frustrated coach on the edge of giving up competitive skating himself, will join Inori to form an unstoppable duo, powered by hard work, transcended joy, and an unshakable belief that they can prove everyone wrong. I did want to highlight one compilation release, and we have Nude Model and Other Stories by Tsubasa Yamaguchi, the author of Blue Period. This release explores the darker, more mature side of Tsubasa Yamaguchi's imagination, where they weave the complex webs that provide little in the way of easy answers, while accurately depicting the strangeness and confusion of life for teenagers and adults alike. From the legendary Kazuo Umez, we have his next release courtesy of Viz Media in Perfect Edition. It is My Name is Shingo, Volume 1. When an industrial robot named Monroe begins to work at his father's factory, Satoru is fascinated. As he and his friend Marin spend more time with Monroe, they start to suspect there's much more to him than anyone realizes. But neither children nor adults are prepared for Monroe's violent, self-actualizing awakening into consciousness. Viz Media's other darling, Junji Ito, has a brand new story collection coming out, and it is subtitled Alley. Every night, a young man hears children playing outside of his boarding house, but the alley below his window is fenced off from the world. What secret lies within the stains on the alley's walls? This story collection features 10 short stories from the famous mangaka. Blood Blade Volume 1 by Oma Sei. This is another Kodansha release. Having fallen in battle long ago, Count Vlad Dracula is reborn as a katana-wielding young vampiress in an alternate history Europe. After the reincarnated Dracula rescues a girl named Clara from a mysterious stranger, Clara explains that she is the creation of a certain Victor Frankenstein. She also reveals that she is fleeing from an organization called Cerberus, which seeks to capture and study monsters such as herself in order to create an army of human monster hybrids. Clara begs the vampires to flee with her to an island of monsters where the two of them will be safe. But as they set out for Monster Island, the sinister forces of Cerberus are in hot pursuit. Magi Lumiere Magical Girls Inc. This also has an anime adaptation this year, but we have the physical release here of Volume 1, story by Seka Iwata and art by Yu Aoki. Are you looking for something new, something challenging, something very highly paid? Exterminating monsters is an exciting, fast-paced field that will get you out from behind a desk and into the action. With over 500 Magical Girl companies now in operation, you're sure to find a position and a uniform that fits. Start your career 
appear as a magical girl today. Kana Sakuragi is an excellent candidate for the job, any job. She's motivated and organized and has a fantastic memory. So why has she interviewed at over 15 companies without a single offer? She's trying to keep a positive attitude, but it seems like her bad luck is only getting worse when a monster crashes her latest interview. As havoc ensues, she finds herself helping the magical girl who comes to their rescue and ends up with more than just her life in return. Meet the newest magical girl at Magi Lumiere Magical Girls Inc. From Seven Seas, we have the release of Gravitation Collector's Edition Volume 1 in a large trim 2-in-1 omnibus edition with story and art by Maki Murakami. Rockstar wannabe Shindo Shuichi is determined to top the charts with his best friend and their rising band, but Shuichi's ego takes a hit when a handsome romance novelist, Eiri Yuki, bashes his lyrics. As Shuichi attempts to make Yuki eat his words, he unexpectedly develops a crush on the harsh critic and the cold and prickly Yuki even seems to like him back. As they continue to gravitate towards each other, Shuichi discovers that success in the music business may cost him his very soul. I Want to Do Bad Things With You Volume 1 Story and Art by Yutaka Mamori Wataya has always faded into the shadows at her school. Tall and plain, she long ago accepted her role as a side character. When she befriends Soshi Fuji, her classmate who walks with a cane and gets even when people underestimate him, a new avenue appears before her. Can Fuji teach her to embrace her bad side and become a villain like him? You and I are Polar Opposites, Volume 1, from Kocha Agazawa, and it stars the character of Miyu Suzuki, a bright and bubbly high schooler who's got a crush. There's just one little problem. When it comes to personality, the guy she's into is her polar opposite. While she's cheerful, outgoing, and always trying to fit in, her classmate Yusuke Tani is stoic, quiet, and doesn't seem to care what people think of him. Will Suzuki be able to overcome her anxieties and ask him out, or will she discover that opposite really don't attract. From One Piece books, we have Tales of the Tendo Family, Volume 1, from Ken Saito. Masoto, a son of the Tendo family, is meant to marry Hojo Ran, the daughter of a baron. There's just one problem. She's a fake. The real Ran has fled after hearing that few make it out of the Tendo family alive. In her place is a young woman who says she will die if it means saving someone else's life. After Trigon, we had a vacuum of news when it came to Dark Horse and their Deluxe Edition line. Now we can safely say that their next release after Trigon will be H.P. Lovecraft's The Mountains of Madness, as told and adapted by Go Tanabe. The Deluxe Edition will feature the complete story all in one, and it also includes eight full-colored illustrations, a tip-in title page with silver ink, a sewn-in bookmark ribbon, wraparound cover art, and soft-touch lamination with spot gloss. But we're not done with Lovecraft and Gotanabe. His adaptation of The Call of Cthulhu is finally coming out this summer. What links together two bands of worshippers, one deep in the Arctic snows, one hidden in the bayou of Louisiana, is more than their shared practice of blood sacrifice. It is the inhuman phrase they both chant. In his house at Rie, dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. Now these nightmares will disturb the sanity of Francis Thurston, a young man pursuing an investigation into the cult of Cthulhu that leads to the most forsaken spot in the vast Pacific. Mysteries that teeter on the edge of sanity come alive with the complete story in this single volume containing eight full-colored pages and a tip-in title page featuring silver ink. From Kodansha, we have A Do, Volume 1, Story and Art by Jaku Amano. Following a wave of immigration, Japan has become a volatile mix of people and cultures. Rocked by the protest of xenophobic extremists unhappy with the new status quo, a brash, job-hopping young woman named Rigo is driving her scooter through one such protest when she sees a boy about to get run over by a truck. Rigo just manages to shove him out of the way, and in the hours that follow, she finds herself looking after after the boy named Eito. Rico takes Eito out for food, but just as they're about to dig in, Eito is fired upon by a distant sniper. As the bullet pierces the restaurant window and comes whizzing towards Eito, plant-like tendrils snake out from his arm and stop it mid-flight. Who in the world is this boy, and why is the army after him? 
Udon Entertainment will be releasing Koteri's Veil in a two-in-one full-colored edition manga. A chance encounter, a handsome soldier, a beautiful woman, a tentative love affair smolders on the snowy cobblestone streets, out of sight of those that might keep them apart. A manga unlike anything else. Veil is a beautifully illustrated full-color romance told in stylish short vignettes, beautiful illustrations, and secret moments. Versus, story by one and the manga written by Kyotaro Asuma. Centuries ago, humanity's natural enemy, the demons, invaded the world and oppressed humankind. The great demon lord and 47 subordinates have since dominated the world, while the human race lives on in fear and desperation. A last-ditch effort for humanity's very survival is placed in the hands of 47 people gathered from across the world. These heroes will oppose the demon army and win back humanity's freedom, or die trying. Denpa announced the release of Aunt Taxi. For the fourth quarter of 2024, this first volume is a total of five, and it is written by Katsuya Konomoto as well as Pix, with Takeichi Abaraya drawing the manga. This manga adapts the original anime of the same name, and it stars an eccentric walrus taxi driver at 41 years old who has no relatives and does not have much to do with others. He does have conversations with his customers, however, including a college student who wants to go viral, a nurse hiding a secret, an unsuccessful comedian, a street rough, and an up-and-coming idol. These conversations lead him to a girl who has mysteriously disappeared. Speaking of mysteries, we're going to close out the video here with one of my most anticipated releases from Seven Seas, Mysterious Disappearances, Volume 1 by Nujima. A novelist teams up with a demonic colleague to solve supernatural urban mysteries. This has my name written all over it. Mysteries aren't just secrets, they're objects. There is the elixir of the moon, which restores one's youth. The songs of another world, which must never be uttered aloud. The curious report of the enchanted land, which contains the testimonies of those who have been spirited away. And now in Tokyo, these mysteries and more are reappearing in the form of urban legends. Burnt out novelist Ogawa Sumireko and demon boy Arashino Ren are out to collect as many as possible. But Sumireko has a knack for not just finding, but triggering the magical effects of the mysteries. Will she survive her brush with the supernatural? Does the demonic Ren have other plans for her? You're gonna have to tune in and find out out when Mysterious Disappearances comes out this upcoming spring. There it is, 30 anticipated books of 2024. Now it's going to be interesting. We don't know what's coming out past the summer. That's going to be really exciting. Obviously, we're going to get more announcements pretty soon from different companies. Looking forward to that and covering it here on the channel. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Hit the like button on your way out. It truly does mean a lot. If this is your first time watching, hit the subscribe button. I do content like this, going over all the manga that I'm reading and checking out all the cool stuff that's coming out so that is going to be it for now thank you everybody for tuning in god bless stay safe out there i will catch all of you on our next video